Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the Need for Speed BMW M3 GTR. And we're going to be using the Obey AF Drafter. Now, as I know, as you guys probably know, this motherfucker is no BMW. This is based on an Audi, no doubt about it. But the only reason we're going to be using this is because of the livery we can get for it. And um, at the end of the day, it's, an, it's supposed to be an Audi, you know? And I'm creating a BMW with it. <laughs> but if you've ever played and loved Need for Speed Most Wanted and you you fell in love with this vehicle, the M3 GTR, when you played this game, because I know for damn sure I did. I absolutely loved this BMW. It made me fall in love with M3s, this game and this vehicle. Unbelievable. Uh, so I've got to make it just because the livery that we get for this vehicle. It's very strange that Rockstar would create a vehicle based on an Audi and then give it like a, a legendary and iconic BMW livery to apply to it is very strange but again man Rockstar logic you can't argue with that shit so without any further ado we're going to crack on with this build so as always we're going to start with 100% body armor we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes but a bumper front bumper and unfortunately we can't really change anything it is just a splitter change weird man give us a bumper change at least jeez uh, so we're going to say stop for the front bumper. I'm uh, scared. Yep, it's going to be the same for the rear bumper as well. So, um, yeah, we're going to stay stock for the rear bumper also. For the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhaust, we're going to go with something beefy. It's got to be big, man. Oh, yes. The titanium tuna exhaust. It's got to be done. Let's grab it. Then we're going to go to the grill. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get the iconic BMW grill for this. I'll be very surprised if we do. I don't think we're going to be able to. No, we don't. This being an Audi, it, that grill looks very suspect, like it's a, an Aston Martin style grill. But, you know, <laughs> especially with that, that's definitely Aston Martin esque. Um, I think the closest we're going to get is maybe something like this. I don't really know, man. That's really odd. That even looks a bit Mustang y, you know? Yeah, the grill's a big letdown for this, man. Shit. We're reinventing the M3, dudes. We're reinventing it. We're going to go with a sports grill. Why the hell not? None of them look like the BMW grill anyway. Then we're going to go to the hood. Hopefully we can get some nice vents on this. In the places that we need them, obviously. <laughs> to replicate the M3. And not really. I think the closest thing is this, maybe. Yeah, the closest thing is... Um, this bad boy, the race hood. So why not? We'll go grab the race hood. Then we'll go to the lights. We're going to get the Xeon headlights. Now for the livery, this is where the magic is going to happen. Because it goes from an Audi to an M3 real quick, man. With that bad boy. So, mate, that is like spot on. That is exactly what we need for a BMW M3 GTR build from Need for Speed. Why the fuck would they put it on this car? I really, really don't understand that. It's called Racing Edge. We're going to grab it. And it looks awesome. Uh, I just don't understand why they've put it on an Audi. Really, really don't. Um, but man, we're making an Audi into an M3. Why the hell not? Right, so we are going to move on to the respray. We're going to go primary colour and we're going to go classic because we do have a livery, but then we'll get no parallels and shine on that bitch. So we're going to stay classic and we're going to go with a very light silver. I think the, the bluish silver is probably the best one because it's very light and I think it actually looks pretty awesome. Actually, let's quickly have a look see what metallic blue or silver looks like. Because it is, you know, like a, a white pearlescent, it doesn't really matter if you get a shine or not, I suppose. No, it doesn't. It looks awesome. So we're going to go metallic blue or silver. Now for the secondary colour, guys, hopefully we're going to try and colour match the blue in the livery. Because the N3 in Need for Speed has a blue roof. And unfortunately, the livery doesn't cover the roof. Which is very strange. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Why is the colour not changing? Maybe is that is that part of the livery then? So we're on secondary colour. And it's just changing the, the trim. What the frick is going on there? Man, that's, that sucks. Changes the seat, Piper, man. What the hell? We'll, we'll just match it up then. We'll go blue or silver. That is ridiculous. Why have we got... Can't even change the roof colour. Never mind. Where were we? R roof accessories. Does this change anything? No, no, it doesn't. 
Then we're going to move on to the side skirts. And I don't think there's anything in here which is going to make it look any better. Because these are all carbon extensions and plastic extensions. We don't need any of that. And the stock one does actually look a lot better. So we're going to stay stock for the side skirts. So then for the spoiler. So we need some big ass beefy spoiler on this. And we can't really get one. They're very tame actually. The, the spoilers on this. That's probably the closest. The GT spoiler. So we're going to go with that one. The suspension, we are going to, are we going to race suspension at? Mm, I think competition suspension is adequate enough, so we're going to go with that. Transmission, we're going to get a super transmission, turbo tuning also. And for the wheels, wheel type, let me just say, these stock wheels are absolutely amazing. I love them. I think they look awesome. But we're going to change them. And these are what we're going to change them to in the sport category, split six. They are probably the best, you know, overall design of the M3 ones we can get in GTA in my opinion uh, if you think we can get better let me know in the comments below I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with but uh, from what I've seen I think the split six in the sports category uh, are the best match so once we've got them uh, you want to go into wheel color and change that to alloy once we're here we might as well grab the bulletproof tires just for safety safety first ladies and gentlemen then Oh, we get wind deflector option, but we don't need any of that. And plus, what the fuck? Why is the wind deflector above the door like that, stuck to the to the actual car? It looks really odd. My wind deflectors on my personal car, <laughs> they kind of go in to the into the door where the window sits. They do not go on the outside like that. It looks really odd. Um, but anyway, we don't need them, so we're going to skip past them. We're going to finish off the build as always with light smoke window tin and that is it my dudes as you pull out of ls customs you'll see this audi has magically been transformed into um an audi just with a bmw livery <laughs> from me for speed <laughs> so this ain't full of nobody man this is 100 percent still an audi it's definitely not a bmw but i had to make this build because of this livery you cannot have a livery in this game like this this iconic livery and not do a build on it I just, like I said already, man, I'm just baffled and I really don't understand why Rockstar would put this amazing livery on an Audi. It's really, really odd and I don't understand it, but I had to create it. Uh, like I said, this ain't fooling nobody. This is an Audi playing, a B playing as a BMW from Need for Speed. <laughs> Simple as that. But anyway, guys, this is my build on the BMW M3 GTR from Need for Speed Most Wanted. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you hit a like and also subscribe if you haven't already and until next time guys i'm out adios